Hey y'all, it's Kiki. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be another episode of Whole Beauty Products slash My Thoughts. So, let's get started. <music> Alright y'all, so we are going to start off with lip products because in the first episode, part 1 and 2, I didn't show you guys any hard lip products. Y'all, like look at my lip. My lip is super duper bold and it really doesn't go with this eye look but I had to put this lip on because I wanted to like share this gloss with you guys because I am so freaking in love. As you can see, it is super pigmented, it's bam and in your face. But I'm loving it, y'all. The lip product that I have on right now is by Bite Beauty. And here's what the box looks like. All right, y'all. So this is the Bite Beauty Cream Lip Gloss. And I have it in the shade Gold. So, y'all, the story behind this gloss. I went into Sephora and JCPenney's probably about two weeks ago. And I was just swatching, like, different glosses. And so I saw this one right here. And I'm like, mm, oh, my gosh, that is so beautiful. It's so golden. It's so metallic. So the girl in Sephora was like, well, just go ahead and try it on because I think it'll look really beautiful on your skin. And I was like, I don't know. Like, where would I ever wear this to? And she was like, girl, just go for it. So I was like, all right. So I lined my lips with a brown liner. And I tried this on. And I fell in love. I, like, y'all, I fell so deeply in love with this. This was the last gloss in Sephora. I snatched that baby up. I'm like, yes, it's coming home with me, y'all. So I was walking around the store with my brown liner on and this gloss. Like, everyone was complimenting me. Like, oh my gosh, that is you. That looks so good on you. So I tell y'all right now, this gloss is freaking amazing, you guys. It is super duper shiny. It's super duper pigmented, as you can clearly see. I love it. I love the way it smells. Like, it has, like, this really, really, really nice fruity smell to it. I love the Dofa applicator. As you can see, the Dofa applicator is really, really short. And it's almost shaped like a, um, like a teardrop, if you guys can see that. So, I love the shape of it because you're able to, like, really contour your lips with it. So, I really love the shape of this Dofa applicator. And just the packaging in itself, it just looks really nice and sleek. Okay, so I love this so much. And y'all, the formula of this gloss is to die for. It reminds me a lot of the Fenty formula. It's really nice and smooth on the lips. It's not sticky at all. It just glides on the lips beautifully, y'all. So I just love everything about this gloss, especially the shade and how golden and pigmented it is. It really looks like um, Fenty's highlighter. What is it called? This is the exact shade of Trophy Wife in a gloss form, y'all. It is so freaking pigmented, and I absolutely love it. I am going to put a little more on just so you guys can see how it applies. Um, but I lined my lips with um, Chestnut by MAC, and I just took the gloss, and I actually just put it right here in the center of my lips like so, and just press my lips together. Because, y'all, again, this stuff is so pigmented. It's like bam in your face. And a little of this gloss goes so far. You only need a very little of this gloss as you guys just clearly saw. You only need a little. This gloss is going to be absolutely beautiful in the spring and the summertime when the sun is out and the sun rays is hitting your lips. Oh my god this is going to pop like none other y'all and that's what I like about it so much it makes your lips look really nice and plump although I have big lips anyway but it makes your lips look really nice and full and plump and it is just gorgeous and I cannot believe that I just really never knew anything about this gloss okay never knew anything about it until I went into Sephora and they do have other shades to choose from but this one right here just popped it just popped at me because it is so gorgeous and I will swatch it on my hand as well so here is a swatch of it. Look at that, y'all. Tell me that that is not Trophy Wife. That is Trophy Wife in every sense. Like, do y'all see that? Hopefully it's picking up good on camera. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this gloss. You can wear like a nude lipstick, um, whether it be a beige nude or a pinky nude, and take this baby right here and throw it on your pout, and you are good to go. Like, your lips are going to be popping okay so this is a must-have in my opinion I absolutely 
love 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 this lip gloss and I think y'all when I wear this lip gloss again I probably do more of like a nude eye maybe a matte nude eye and let this be the focal point but of course I had to throw it on because I really wanted you guys to see how just freaking amazing this lip gloss is so once again y'all it's by Bite Beauty okay and it's called the cream lip gloss in the shade gold and it is bomb like I can't stop looking at All my right, lips so next up for my lip products I have this black radiance perfect tone HD lip sculptor and I showed you guys this lipstick in my last haul and I have been wearing this lipstick you guys and it is freaking amazing okay so here's what it looks like as you can see it's a really beautiful burgundy shade like it is absolutely gorgeous like I love this shade so much I think it's really appropriate for all year round um and as you can see like I said earlier it is a deep burgundy shade but it has like purple undertones so it's really 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 beautiful on the lips I love the packaging like look at that as you can see the lipstick is shaped in an angle so it makes you really really great to apply especially to your cupid's bow so I love the fact that it's shaped in this angle. So yeah, I love that, you guys. And the shade is just to die for. So the shade is called Queen Bee. And it's just so pretty. Let me swatch it for you guys. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the lipstick goes on really nice and smooth. Look at that. Look at this, y'all. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is the type of shade that anyone can pull off, whether you're fair or or dark anyone could pull this shade off it's absolutely beautiful and like I said earlier it has more purple tones in it than anything but I love it like it's a semi matte formula it's not going to dry your lips out it applies really really great it wears like a dream it's just a really gorgeous gorgeous lipstick and it's a really really nice formula so I'm really thinking about going back and trying maybe two or three more um, I'm really trying not to like buy up a lot of lip products because I just have so many in my collection that I need to get through um so yeah I might just hold off that's what I'll do I might just hold off from buying more but I will tell you if you're trying to build your collection and you're looking for a really nice long wearing lipstick that's just gorgeous that applies well and that's not expensive and going to break the bank go for this one right here you guys like it is so so pretty like look at that just just gorgeous so yeah I highly 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 recommend these lipsticks they were only like $5.99 and then they had a two dollar um coupon on them that you can use right away so yeah you can't beat it with a stick and then y'all didn't tell you um the price of the bite lip gloss but this was about maybe twenty dollars i think and that's average you know for bite products so, right, so yeah. next up you guys i have this lipstick by urban decay and i actually hauled this a while ago but I never reviewed it so I wanted to come back on and talk about it so this is from the vice collection by urban decay as you guys can see the packaging is really really nice I love urban decay's packaging and this lipstick is a cream formula and it's called firebird and this is one of my absolute favorite favorite shades for my skin tone and I absolutely love this formula as well because again it is a cream lipstick and so it's not going to be drying on your lips at all but here is what Firebird looks like so as you can see it's like a really beautiful magenta shade and I freaking love this lipstick so so much y'all I wear it like to death so as you can see I really don't have a lot left but this is just like one of my absolute favorite favorite formulas and favorite shades so i'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you look at that you guys beautiful so here's what it swatches like and hopefully it's showing up so you guys can really see but that is what firebird looks like swatch absolutely just gorgeous you guys i love this shade like so so much i think magenta is just like a gorgeous shade for darker skin anyway it just makes our skin tone pop and it just looks good on our skin so if you're not really into wearing like reds or purples or even dark burgundy shades like this one that i have swatched here then try a really beautiful magenta shade i think you'll absolutely love it and try the vice formula because i think you'll love this lipstick too if you're kind of tired of wearing like 
extremely matte lips and you want to go for something a little more moisturizing you will like this formula right here i absolutely love it and of course with these lipsticks right here from the vice collection you do not need a gloss because this formula is super duper moisturizing like look at this shade though y'all that is absolutely beautiful i love to wear this shade like during the spring and summertime with a really nice wing liner and some lashes and that's it y'all just love it so much i love for this lipstick to be the focal point for sure because it's so so beautiful like it is so so gorgeous i love this all right so you guys so the last lipstick that i want to talk about is actually by tarte and i already know all of the mess that's going on with tarte i already know and yeah they piss me off too okay can't even deny it they piss me off too with their foundations and all of that nonsense but y'all I cannot deny that this lip product right here is just the bomb.com. In my last video called Beauty Products My Thoughts, this is the lip that I was wearing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, that red lip that I had on, that's this Let's lip right here. Let's just talk about the formula. The formula is bomb as I don't know what y'all. It dries down to a matte finish on your lips, but it's the most comfortable matte lipstick that you would ever want to wear. I'm telling you guys, like it just feels like you're wearing nothing on your lips it lasts all day the color is just like bam it's vibrant in your face but the dofa has like this little dip in it and in that dip is what catches the product when you pull it out of the tube and it makes it so easy to apply okay you can actually line your lips with this um lip gloss and then fill your lips in and i just love it y'all it just picks up the right amount of product y'all like seriously it's my absolute favorite red lip it's just bomb so if you're not into wearing like red lips like you're scared to go there with a deep red lip try this one out and it will change your mind totally oh and let me swatch it guess i can go ahead and swatch it for you guys so let's see here here it is swatched right here again it is a blue tone red and it's just beautiful y'all it's beautiful it's full coverage um you only need one layer of this it's beautiful and you can actually build it up without it looking like really crazy on your lips so yeah it's a really 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 pretty pretty lipstick and i do highly highly right, recommend you guys, so that's pretty much it for lip products um i do have a liquid highlighter that i want to share with you guys and here it is right here so this highlighter is by wet and wild you guys and it's called the mega glow hello halo liquid highlighter and i have it in the shade go with the glow so as you guys can see it's like a really beautiful golden shade and i have used this only one time and y'all it is really 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 pretty it's going to give you like this really natural golden glow and so y'all because i like my highlighter to pop i do um like to layer this with a powder highlighter but it is really really beautiful by itself okay i will say that it is gorgeous by itself so here's what the packaging looks like again really really nice and sleek and simple um it comes with a really huge doe foot applicator as you can see all right and the doe foot applicator again has a little dip in it to catch the product and let me swatch it for you guys because it's really, really pretty. So here it is swatched. All right, can you guys see that? Like, let me put a little more. All right, so as you can see, it's a really beautiful golden shade. And it has like pink, like rose gold undertones in it. It's really, really pretty. So again, you can wear this highlighter by itself. It lasts all day long. It applies beautifully over your foundation, whether you're wearing liquid or powder or both. It blends out beautifully over those products. And it's not sticky at all. It doesn't have any glitter in it. And it's really, really pretty really pretty even if you wanted to take a little and apply it to your decollete and then set it with like another highlighter or bronzer it's pretty that way it's really really skin like as you can see so it doesn't have any glitter in it like i said earlier and it's going to give you like a really nice natural glow um they do have it in other shades but of course i went for the golden shade because i think it complements my skin tone a little better but i love this you guys i think it's worth it it's not sticky at all it blends out really really nicely and i don't know if you can tell but it gives you like a really nice golden glow and maybe i can put a little on my chest let's see i'll put a little on up in here just so you guys can see how it applies all right i'm just gonna rub it in let's see and i'll just rub it in with my hands so i don't know if you guys can see but it just gives you like this really pretty 
like natural glow if you rub it on your decollete area. So it's really, really pretty if you're wearing like a sundress or a bathing suit and you want that really nice natural glow without being too glittery, you can definitely use this for that. And y'all, this stuff sets really, really well once it dries down. So yeah, you shouldn't have to um, worry about it transferring or anything like that. So yeah, I would say it's worth it. Like go for it if you're looking for a really nice natural glow that's not gonna be too bam in your face or if you need like um, a really nice highlighting base before you put on your powder, go for this. I think it's really nice. Of course, y'all know that Wet n Wild can be found in almost any drugstore. And it's really inexpensive. I think I only paid about 5 or 6 bucks for that highlighter. So yeah, I didn't think that that was bad at all. Right, all. So next up we have two more Wet n Wild products since we're talking about Wet n Wild. So first up I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in the matte version. And I did not haul this official. I did show you guys this in my last um vlog video and y'all this primer is so so good it does a great job with mattifying your skin I love the consistency of it like let me show you guys like it's a cream consistency and so I love the consistency of it it spreads out really really nicely on the skin it's not sticky it um really absorbs into your skin nicely and it's a really really great primer y'all i really love this so 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 much so much like um i don't know exactly what it reminds me of like i can't think of a primer that it reminds me of but it's really really nice and as you're putting it on your skin you guys you can actually feel it like mattifying your skin you can really feel it mattifying your skin it really doesn't do anything for like filling in your pores but it does an amazing job with matting out your skin so i love this a lot again y'all really inexpensive it's only $5.99 or $4.99 $4.99 and it is so so good y'all I'm almost done with this like already and I just picked this up so I am gonna go and get another one because I don't know if you guys can tell but it does an amazing job with men out your skin it is not silicone based at all like it doesn't feel slippery at all it just dries down to a beautiful matte finish like once you rub it in so I love this so much I highly 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 recommend this primer go and get it it's amazing amazing and y'all so is the setting spray so this is the wet n wild photo focus matte finish setting spray this stuff is so freaking good i'm actually using both products today um with the makeup look that i have going on and let me tell y'all what i did so what i did was of course after i washed my face and all of that good stuff and moisturized i actually took this setting spray and i sprayed it all over my face and then i let it dry halfway and then i went in with this primer and y'all my foundation is laying so beautifully over top of this combo like I love this stuff so so much it's so good and you're not breaking the bank definitely under $12 for both products okay a setting spray and a primer you cannot beat it with a stick like I would highly recommend you guys go and try this combo out especially if you're in the market for um, a setting spray as well as a primer try these two out you're absolutely going to love this combo I think it's so good so so good for drugstore like wet and wow great job awesome job I'm going to definitely keep these two in my collection because they are just wonderful wonderful so really quick about the setting spray now when I had the setting spray um, in the white packaging from wet and wow that one smelled just like alcohol like straight up alcohol and I must say that this formula right here does not smell like strong of alcohol Alright you guys, so next up we have two primers and I forgot to mention these primers in the last episode but these primers are by Hard Candy and you guys know that you can find Hard Candy at your local Walmart and I will tell you right now I do not like these primers like at all um i only use them about a couple times and i can tell you i do not like them they are not my cup of tea so we're not gonna even spend a lot of time on these primers i'm just gonna show you guys what they look like and tell you why i don't like them so first i have the hard candy sheer envy coconut water primer primer stick and here is what it looks like okay so as you can see it looks like a bomb pretty much and you roll it up to get the product of course and I will tell you guys, like, the smell is okay. I like the way it smells. And that's just about it. But I do not like how greasy this stuff feels. 
it is cooling to the skin though i will tell you that when you put it on it is cooling to the skin but it feels like super duper greasy on the skin like why does it feel so greasy it does not like absorb into your skin it definitely sits on top of the skin and everything that i'm telling you about this one right here i have the same issues with this one i just don't like the way it feels on the skin i don't like the way my makeup feels um whenever i wear this primer i just don't like it y'all i definitely hate the texture of both of these products it feels like i'm putting like deodorant on my skin you guys like seriously like i don't like it at all i do <laughs> i just don't like it i do not like it so that's this one and then this one is called the hard candy sheer envy stick it to pores and again it comes in like a bomb formula like this mm -mm, no like it does nothing for filling in my pores i just wish y'all could feel this i hate the way this one smells like the other one smells pretty good listen y'all just go ahead and pick up this wet and wild primer leave this stuff right in the store because it's not all righty guys so next up we have the maybelline superstay better skin foundation and y'all i've had this foundation for a while like i really hauled this a while ago i have it in the shade coconut and y'all i really don't know why i don't like this foundation because i rarely wear it i can tell you that right now i rarely wear this foundation it's not the shade okay because the shade is okay and it's definitely not the formula like i think the formula is really really nice and let me spread it out so you guys can see but i think the formula is really really nice as you can see it's um not too thick not too thin it is a matte formula and it blends out really really nicely it has a pump which is a great thing so I'm not sure why I don't like this foundation, but I just don't. Or maybe I need to wear it a little more because since I've had this foundation, you guys, like real talk, I've only worn it like maybe damn, once. <laughs> so maybe I do need to wear it more because as I'm spreading it out on my hand, it looks really, really good. Like, look, y'all, it blended in really, really nicely. The formula is nice. Maybe I just need to try it out a little more. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of red. So I may have to get another foundation or either use my Fenty. So I may have to put a little bit of Fenty in it because it is looking kind of red. So maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. Maybe that's why I didn't like it because it, it looks red, like it's oxidizing or something. So maybe that's the reason why I um, don't reach for this that much. But I love the finish. Like, the finish is really nice. It gives you, like, a really nice matte finish. It feels really smooth. So, yeah, I'm not going to recommend this as of yet. And you guys probably have already tried it. So, if you have, drop down your comments below. Um, so, yeah, you may have already tried it. But I'm not going to give you guys my thoughts on it as of yet. Just because maybe I need to keep it on my vanity and use it a little more. And then let you guys know what I think. Because I do like the way it looks on my hand. It is hella red, though. But like the finish looks really really good so let me do that you guys i'm going to use it a few more times and then um on my next video i'll just let you guys know my thoughts okay so again this is the maybelline superstay better skin foundation and if you guys own this foundation let me know how you apply it how you wear it, what paddle you use if you have to set it the wear time all that good stuff let me know down below so yeah i'll go ahead and keep this out and i'll test it again and then on my next episode i'll come back and let you guys know the real tea all right all right y'all so next up we have the black radiance this is the true complexion hydrating powder foundation and y'all here's what it looks like and i have it in the shade warm almond and i must say y'all i absolutely love this powder foundation i love it i hauled this also like a month or two ago and i was like a hydrating powder like how does that work like i was really really confused because i had never heard of a hydrating powder until i saw this so i'm like how does that work but y'all i have worn this powder with the smashbox foundation as well as um let's see the smashbox liquid halo i've worn this with the dior i've worn this with the nars um oh my gosh what's the name of the nars foundation can't remember but i've worn this powder with those three foundations and i love the way my skin looked like it just looked absolutely beautiful and i don't know whether it's because those are hydrating foundations and this is a hydrating powder but i love how plump my skin looked it didn't look like all dried out and powdered up like this is so so good so for all of my dry skin babies out there 
if you love like powder foundations but you don't like how dry it makes your skin feel try this hydrating powder because I promise you it will not dry your skin out it's going to make your skin look really nice and healthy it's going to make your skin look really nice and hydrated and plump and of course when you have dry skin that's what you want your skin to look like and this powder is going to do it for you okay so yeah I really really love this powder I don't know how it's going to work for me when it starts to get hot outside because y'all know I do have combo oily skin so it may not work too well when it starts to get hot outside but y'all know all this winter I suffered from dry extremely dry skin so this stuff just it was bomb.com and I'm going to try to like um wear it as much as I can before the weather changes so I do highly highly recommend this especially if you have super dry skin like try this out again y'all it's called the black radiance true complexion hydrating powder foundation and i have it in the shade warm so next up i have a brush by ruby kisses that i have not used as of yet but i do have the feeling that it's going to be really nice because i do own other brushes um from this line by ruby kisses and so this is the ruby kisses concealer brush and here is what it looks like like can you guys see that here's what it looks like and I paid $3.99 for this brush and again I do own other brushes from this line by Ruby Kisses and let me go ahead and take it out of the packaging Let's see alright you guys so here is what the brush looks like and the reason why I wanted to buy this brush is because y'all I love this one like so freaking much like I'm so in love with this brush right here I showed y'all this brush in the first episode of this video and this is the pure brush face brush love this thing y'all like I don't grab for any other brush for my foundation but this one and because I love this one so much I wanted to try this one by Ruby Kisses I'm going to use this to blend out the concealer around my brows so usually y'all I just go in with this brush right here around my brows once I sculpt my brows and it's so huge that it ends up messing up my brows y'all I want another brush like this because I love the way this blends out my concealer but I just need a smaller brush and y'all know these brushes are expensive I paid 40 dollars so I didn't want to go out and get like another brush like this and pay about 30 some dollars for a smaller one when I could just get this one for $3.99 and this brush right here y'all is densely packed just like this one and the bristles are really really um soft it's also going to be good for like contouring the nose especially if you use like um cream products to contour with it's going to be really good to get up in there Alright, it's also going to be good for packing on powder under your eyes because it's so, so small. You can also use this to contour with, okay, if you're using like cream products. You can use it because it's really, really small. Because as you can see, it's small, so it's going to get up in there really, really good and contour your cheekbones. So yeah, y'all, I'm just really, really excited about this little brush by Ruby Kisses. Alright y'all, so last but not least, I have two eyeshadow palettes that I want to share with you guys and then we're going to be done with this video. I saved my best for last. Like, I love these two palettes so much to the point where I can tell y'all I'm done with eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to buy any more eyeshadow palettes. I'm satisfied. I just want to use up what I have. So, the first palette y'all is by Morphe. And this is the Morphe 3502 palette. And if you guys follow my vlog videos, I did show you guys this palette briefly in one of my vlogs. I freaking, I'm so in love with this freaking palette. Y'all, I cannot even begin to tell y'all how much I love this palette. And I think that every brown skin girl, or even if you're fair skin, should have this palette. But the reason why I said my brown skin girls is because every shade in this palette is going to show up on our skin it's going to look vibrant on our skin it's going to look gorgeous on our skin and you're going to love it okay like oh my gosh y'all i cannot get over the deep rich brown shades in this palette so let me show you i can get it open so as you guys know because i'm late to the party when it comes down to this um palette it comes with a sleeve as you guys can see my very first palette from Morphe and I'm so satisfied okay so here is what the palette looks like and like I said I'm late to the game so you guys probably already know but here it is and this palette has like the most prettiest like warm shades that you would ever want to see in life so I'm wearing two of the shades um 
on my eyes today and the two shades that I'm wearing is actually let's see if I can get it right so the two shades that I'm wearing is actually this one right here no I'm actually wearing three shades so I'm wearing this one right here this one and then this shade on the end and my crease and y'all when I tell you this palette is so beautiful y'all this palette is super duper pigmented it blends out like a dream like I just love every single thing about this eyeshadow palette as you can see you get tons of product okay tons of product it's really inexpensive like I only paid $23 for this palette like how can you beat that with a stick you can't this in my opinion is such a well-rounded palette that I just feel like this is all I need y'all all I need so I know for sure I can tell you right now I'm done with eyeshadow palettes I'm, I'm done like I'm so satisfied with this one and then this one that I'm about to show you I can truly say with confidence that I'm done purchasing eyeshadow palettes because y'all at this point I'm just so ready to use up all of the eyeshadows that I have or attempt to use all that I have because I know I never get through all of them. But y'all I really want to enjoy my collection and I want to kind of just use what I have and just enjoy it. So I'm just at that point now where I'm just pretty much done with eyeshadow palettes. Okay, y'all moving forward. Don't expect to see any eyeshadow palettes because I'm done. So last but not least, oh my God, you guys, this palette right here. This palette right here, y'all. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Y'all. When I tell y'all that I love this palette so much, again... When I picked up this palette, I just felt like I was complete. I, this palette and this palette makes me feel so complete. Like I don't need any other eyeshadows. Um, I usually gravitate towards a neutral nude look. And these palettes give me just that. And that's all I feel like I need. The golden and bronzy shades in this palette is to die for. So, again, I'm late to the train. I already know you guys probably own this palette. And y'all just know how it is off the rip. So as you guys can see, it comes with a full mirror. And here are the beautiful shades. Let me see if I can show you without blinding you. But let's see. Here are the beautiful shades. I mean, I'm sure y'all already know. This palette is freaking amazing. I love every single, when I tell y'all, every single shade, I love every single shade in this palette. All of these shades are super duper pigmented. Okay, just like super pigmented. They're going really, really smooth. You can wear this palette as a highlighter. In fact, I am wearing Famous as my highlighter today. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? Yeah. I'm wearing Famous as my highlighter. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? Yes. Famous as my highlighter today. It looks absolutely beautiful. On my eyelid, I'm wearing Gold Money, which is this one right here. And y'all, I just love this thing so much. This shade right here, this black shade called Decadent, I'm wearing that on my lower lash line. And y'all, I just don't know what to say. I love this palette like so freaking much. And the smell, y'all, ooh, is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoy it because I'm going to love, love, love doing these videos. I can already tell. So I hope that you guys are enjoying these episodes. And yeah, that's it. Any questions, drop them down below. And until the next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.